Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Jeanette and today I thought I'd take you through a what I eat in a day because I haven't done one of these in a really long time and I am back in full swing on my whole food plant-based diet. If you guys have seen any of my recent videos, then you know over the past couple of years, I really went off the rails with my whole food plant-based diet that I had been eating for so long. Uh, and even though I was still plant-based, I was just eating a lot of rich, concentrated, calorie-dense foods that led to a 27-pound weight gain uh, over the last couple of years. And I wasn't too upset with that, except with that came high cholesterol and my blood pressure was high again. So those were two things I really needed to address. So over the past couple of years, I have made a slow transition back into whole food plant-based, really taking the time to slowly increase my fiber gradually over time. And now I am back in full swing. And in the past month, I've already released another three pounds. So that means I've already lost 10 pounds just by bringing in more wholesome foods. Uh, and my goal is not to be skinny mini. You know, I'm 48 years old. I'm kind of... Um, I'm just past the whole, like, I just need to be as skinny as possible thing that I had going on 20 years ago. And now I focus more on my health. So this month I've had all, literally all of my medical checkups that you can imagine. And everything has checked out great, except my blood pressure is still a little on the high side, which is something I am working to try to bring down naturally. So I know that I need to shed a few more pounds in order to, to do that. My whole goal is to just get back to a healthy weight range and be vibrant and, you know, vital, full of life and just continue doing all the things that I enjoy doing. So the way I eat again now is a whole food plant based diet, but my diet is based on whole food starches. So that means I get the bulk of my calories from these whole food starches like potatoes and sweet potatoes and whole grains and corn, beans and winter squashes. And I also eat a lot of non-starchy vegetables and some fruits. And although it's considered at this point low fat because I'm trying to shed some of my weight, I don't eat no fat. So I still have a little bit of avocado, a little bit of tofu, some olives, a few nuts and seeds, uh, because I have found over time, you know, over the past eight years, I have you know, done a little experimenting with myself and found that if I go very low fat, like uh, say the potato diet that I did a few years ago, which was just potatoes and non-starchy vegetables and like zero fat condiments on everything, my digestion did not work well and I became constipated for the first time in my life. My skin got dry, it broke out and my hair lost its luster. So I found that for me, I need a little bit of fat in my diet. And I can tell you that getting back to this way of eating, a lot of people think, oh my gosh, that would be just so incredibly boring to eat what you're eating. And I can tell you it has been the exact opposite because there is just so much food in so little time. These foods are so beautiful to me and they taste so good. There are, there's just an endless number of things that I want to create. And I have to tell you, I have just been so excited to be back in the kitchen again. All right, so let's do this what I eat in a day video. It's not typical, of course, of how I eat every day because it's different every day. But uh, when I watch these types of videos from other people, I like to try to get ideas from them on what to make. So hopefully you guys will get some good ideas out of this video. I have been having oatmeal every single morning and I just cook it with a little cinnamon in some water. And then I've been using these frozen wild blueberries and I just defrost them in the microwave. And if I have some good looking bananas on hand, I will slice one up and throw that in as well. Typically I don't need to add any other sweeteners to my oatmeal. Uh, and today I'm having some mixed vegetables on the side. So it's just a little zucchini, yellow squash, some broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots, and I'm seasoning that with a little bit of Bragg's liquid aminos and some nutritional yeast, and then I have a cup of chai tea. Lately I've been making these really good soups for lunch. They're really easy and I might do another video on these. Uh, but if I don't have any rice already cooked up, I have been picking up these little packages that you just stick in the microwave and they're done in 90 seconds. So today I'm gonna use the brown jasmine rice and for my vegetable stock, I'm using better than bouillon vegetable. And I'm gonna be using two cups of water for this. 
And in addition to this, I have been putting salsa into my soups. And I don't know why I've never thought to do this before, but this is the Salsa Del Rio from Desert Pepper. And the first ingredient is green chili peppers. So it adds a really nice green chili flavor and a nice little kick. And I usually have some sort of sauteed vegetables on hand. I just saute these in water. And these are just mixed bell peppers, onions, zucchini, and mushrooms. And I'm also going to throw some black beans into this soup. Then I throw everything into a pan on the stove except for the rice because the rice gets microwaved. And I just heat everything through. Once my rice is done, I just dump however much I want into a nice big soup bowl, and then I top it with my nice hot soup. Look at how much food that is, guys. And I've chopped up a little bit of fresh cilantro, because I love cilantro and it goes on everything, and some scallions, and then my soup is all finished. During my feeding frenzy over the past couple years, I got into this habit of wanting something sweet after dinner, and then that grew to something sweet after lunch and dinner. So instead of grabbing chocolate and cookies, I have been trying to make more wholesome choices. So here's just a little bit of sweet potato with a tiny drizzle of maple syrup, and it really hit the spot. I got hungry for a snack before dinner time, so I had some of my black bean dip that I made, and I just pureed some black beans with some of my favorite salsa to make this dip, and I served it with some fresh veggies, and that tided me over until dinner time. For dinner, my significant other wanted to make jambalaya, so he just picked up one of those boxes of jambalaya rice mix that cooks really fast. So he cooked that up and he added what he wanted to his, and I sauteed up a bunch of onions and bell peppers and put that in mine. And I had it with a cabbage salad and some of my homemade cashew ranch dressing. And as expected, I wanted something sweet after dinner, but I was prepared. I had gone to the store and gotten some pre-cut fruit. So this is honeydew melon, cantaloupe, and pineapple, and I had that for dessert. All right, so that's it for this What I Eat in a Day video. If you would like to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments, or just leave us a comment to say hello. We always like to hear from you guys, my dad and I. All right, so that's it for today. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.